Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel, where I'm always breaking down the hot sports topics of the day. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my 2013 NFL draft coverage with the needs analysis for the Tennessee Titans. The Titans hold the number 10 pick overall in the upcoming draft. Some of the need areas I see for the Titans heading into this draft are in the secondary at both corner and safety, and also on the interior of the offensive line. I think ideally, the Titans fans and the Titans front office would love to address their interior line issues with Chance Warmack at pick number 10. I don't see him lasting till pick number 10, though. I see him getting picked before then. So barring a trade up by the Titans, which I don't think is likely because it's a guard, I think they'll stay at 10. I think they should address their safety need and pick Kenny Vaccaro from Texas. Vaccaro is the is the number one safety in this draft. He has the ability to cover deep. He has the ability to play on the line of scrimmage when needed, and he's a dual threat safety there um, that uh, you know the Titans need and is a rarity in this draft. So he's the top rated safety in this draft. He'll be there for the Titans. I think they should take him at number ten. As far as their second round pick goes, again they could. I think they either need to address the corner position or the interior line. I think there's some good interior linemen for the taking here in the second round, whether it's a Larry Warford from Kentucky, a uh, Dallas Thomas from Tennessee, who was a tackle in college, but uh, at the NFL level can be is projected to be plugged in as a guard as well, so it'll even give them a little versatility heading forward if you pick a guy like Thomas. As far as their cornerback issues go, I think they could wait till the third round or their third pick uh, so to get a corner, whether it's a bigger corner and a Darius Slay, a 6'1 corner out of Mississippi State, not a speed burner, but a physical guy, or it's a guy like Robert Alford from Southeast Louisiana, a little bit shorter, but an absolute speed burner. Uh, he runs a, a 4 4 40. Uh, don't be surprised at the combine. He's a guy from a small school. Again, Robert Alford, Southeast Louisiana. Look for him to burst on the scene at the combine. Uh, and hopefully, uh, you know, if he's there for the Titans in the third round, might be a good, um, maybe not at the time, but right now, under the radar kind of guy to get. Um, but again, I think there's depth at that cornerback position. There's probably 10 cornerbacks at least I see going in the first three rounds. So um, I think there'll be guys there a little bit later for the Titans to take. You know, other than that, I think getting a complimentary back for Chris Johnson won't be a bad idea. You know, they exercised the option on his contract, so Chris Johnson will be back next year. Um, they're, they're pretty well stocked in the front seven on defense. Again, that's why I see them addressing their secondary concerns. Uh, where do you guys think? What are some other areas of needs that the Titans need to address? Where do you see them going in the first uh, three rounds of the draft here? Let me know. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Uh, hit me up on Twitter, at S News Analysis. And guys, I'll be covering the draft from now up through and past the day of the draft. And I'm always talking NFL, Major League Baseball, college basketball on here. So uh, be sure to subscribe to my page here. Thanks, as always, for listening, and have a great night.